Why, why is it so dirty? I don't know. Just, just clean it. You're messing up the movie. Hey, you're messing up the movie. Hey, Nelly. 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 Hey, Nelly. Nelly, you're on TV. <laughs> I got it. Here, a message. There. It's clean now. <laughs> See, it's clean. <laughs> We're Northern Trans, and we're running for our ancestors. We're running from Nebraska. Oh, uh, wait, what's that town called? Robinson, Nebraska, to, Lynn, to Bugby, Montana. And um, be respectful to me and my van. <laughs> <laughs> and the res runners. Yeah, it's recording. Awesome. So, our runners, we that just. That is the best. We just completed our run. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What does this run mean to me? Yeah. Um, I want my brother to even do it. Eh? This run, um, it means to run for my ancestors and um, gather up with more people and pray and meet more people, get along and forgive. What I feel like, I feel happy, excited, but kind of scared. Okay, are you starting it? Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Kenny, I'm the Russell Jury, and I'm from Muddy Creek, Montana. Okay, I live in Ashton, Montana, and I go to St. Brandon School, and um, I'm on the run for everybody back home and everybody, everybody that needs prayer and for my ancestors. Is that all? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I I made myself come. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of scared last year, but um, I toughened up and I um and I and I um and I came myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. from what you um, what your ancestors went through and that they sacrificed themselves for your future and that you don't have to go through that anymore. 
Awesome. That's Good answer. job. That's great. That's a great answer. Any other any other thing of why this run run is awesome? Mm, because you know, because the runners are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about why it's worth it. Uh, I feel like it's worth it because like it's like gives like kind of a example of like what our actors are still going through on a day before. It's like skin and stuff. Box skin. Box skin. Box skin. Box skin. It's really it like really it can really heal you. It can like make your spirit fill up with like. Our ancestors, how they felt in praying, and it like just makes you feel good, like you're like you were there with them, running home, trying to get home back to our family. So, hey Maynard, <laughs> James. Does what does the hero want? Okay. The hero wants uh to to get get his uh well, wife. No. Shut up! Get out of here, go get a, a wife. He wants to get a wife. Or? Yeah, he's trying. He's stalking everybody. He's stalking everybody because he wants a wife. And he's a hitman. He's a hitman. Okay, so he's a hero hitman, and he wants to get a wife, and then he ends up saving somebody from dying. What is he like after that? How does he, uh, he's he's gonna be a good guy. He's gonna be a good guy. What is a good guy? Do? He saved the president. <laughs> he saved the president from getting uh, hit. Are getting shot. Okay, so he was a hitman. Yeah. And he wants a wife, and he saves somebody from dying, and then he ends up saving the president from getting shot. Yeah. Okay. That's a really good storyline. What do you think the hero's name would be? Hero name would be uh, his hero name or his real name? Both. His real name would be James. James. Uh huh. <laughs> what would his hero name be? Oh, his hero name would be uh. Let me see. Narrator. You know, not the narrator. Uh, <laughs> That's actually a good name for a hero. The narrator. the narrator is somebody who explains what's going on, who tells everybody what's going on as it's happening. Let's, let's, let's uh, pick Crims. Crims? Yeah. Crims is his Mr. Name. Mr. Crims. Mr. Crims, I like that. So his real MC. person name is James. And his hero person name is Mr. Crims. Yeah. Nice. And MC for short. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Um, and they sing a song about him, MC Crims. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else that you want to get about Skyland that you uh, want to say? Whenever he, and then it shows his backstory, whenever he was a kid, he tried to commit suicide. Oh, kind of like that rapper the other night when we were hearing him talk about it. Story. He was going through a rough time, and he didn't feel like he wanted to live anymore. But then he changes his mind. Yeah. That's a really, really good. That's a that's a good thing. A good thing. Let's see what else. What else about Mr. Crims? His name is. Uh, Mr. Black. Mr. Black. What is Mr. Black? I'm working on it. I got a puzzle about this long <laughs> that I worked on. I finished it before we came. Oh, really? Yeah, it's okay. a 2,000 piece puzzle. Oh, holy cow, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is on um, the first project that uh, Lulu's okay, sister's put on. Let's get on with before we start. So, I think um, the Should best I thing to do, you? since you're going to be doing the interview, Come sit right here. So Velma, yep. Velma, why don't you come sit over here? Okay. Where's your cookies? They're in the dark. <laughs> it must have been about 15, 14 or 15, because by the time they got back, he was old enough to join the scouts. Mm -hmm. But I grew up hearing the stories, so I heard them all my life until he passed away. He was about 97 when he, when he died. How do you feel when you think about our generation? I pray that the 
you don't get caught in a rut and make a good choice for yourself so that you have a better life than what is happening to some of the youth of, at home. He's, he's probably proud. He had been shot. He had a knee, a, a leg that didn't heal right, so he always walked with a limp. One of the cavalry soldiers shot him in the leg, and so he, but he, it didn't stop him from working. He taught us on us, us girls on how to work horses, and that's all we did was learn how to work horses, and and he always encouraged us. He always told us, "Don't give up. You can do it. You just got to make up your mind." He said, don't ever tell yourself you can't do it. He said, if I can walk from over there, being shot at, being chased by the soldiers, and I made it here and I'm here today, you can do anything. That's why he used to tell us that we could do anything. I, for a while, I didn't believe him. <laughs> I kind of, but he always... One, one of the things that he really encouraged us was, don't forget who you are. You're a Cheyenne, you have a culture, you have ceremonies that you have to believe in. If you don't believe in something, you won't know what to do later on in life. That was one of his strongest teachings to us, was to believe in the Creator and to believe in prayer. We always pray, he always made sure that we prayed every morning and every evening. Can I what? Say a few Cheyenne words to us. Cheyenne words? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you a story. Nako Mustayame Maya Na Okum Atao Matamuni Ame Samaya Nan Se Ame Mato e Aksu Nako Mutsuto Okum Nan Sit the Maya Naya Maya Nanish Okum Hopo Nako Nan Sit the Maya Naya Namutum Asia was to Nako Mutsuto Hit the mayor naya. Oh, come, what's it all knuckle? Hit the mayor naya. Na hatal mom would know. Hit ha. Which guy hit ye? Hit ye. Sit the one when I'm still at his to that. Mohair and my hat. Now to the car, what's it? Knuckle with the warm hoa. My hat's a guy. The bear was walking along the road, and the coyote was walking along the road. And when they met, they started arguing. The bear told the coyote, this road is my road. And the coyote said, there, this road is my road. And while they're arguing, there was a little skunk sitting under a brush. He heard them arguing, so he walked up quietly, sat down between them in the middle of the road, and the bear saw him. And he jumped back and he started running back the other way. And the coyote saw the skunk and he took off running that way. And that little skunk sat there and he said, This is my road now. <laughs> I don't remember that story. <laughs> well, I mean, I am really, really proud of all the runners. And, and I think it's gonna make you a stronger person 
and also it will give you the the information that you have been getting, the education, the speakers, and the encouragement from all everyone, especially when we were at Pine Ridge. Remember how those people welcomed us? They had a drum group, and they said they were proud of you. And I hope when we get home that our, our people do the same for us, because I am really proud of you too. And I plan on running. Wacy asked me today if I would run with him again. I've been running with him every year. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, um, we're bringing you back home. <laughs> thank okay, you and thank you for having us today. Thank you and I love you guys and um, I wish you guys were here. All I could say is that. Yeah. 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 We're bringing you home, cousin. Look at the that on that. Thank you for sacrificing our lives for us.